All right, we're about to do game four of the Stanley Cup playoffs. It's Avalanche and Dallas Stars, as the Stars are on the board, but they need to get there in time to make a quick tie. But there could be another chance that they wanted to give it a shot if they wanted to give it another one attempt, or they definitely uh, do for the second time. Well, <laughs> we're not sure what's going to happen because there is something else that we need to know. Avalanche is the biggest team that they have always played here before and do hard that they have done here before. So right now, the commentators won't be returned here as they will be having a number one of Oilers and Kings here back at Rogers Place. They'll be coming up here just about a couple days here after the NBA playoffs of round number two. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the, uh, your first round of this one. So once this game is completed, we will have the Stanley Cup playoff of the second round of the conference semifinals too, plus the NBA. We'll get to you right on the other side here, but right now we're about to stick things on as I will have the next commentator give it a choice to go for test two. This time, me and test tube are doing it at the same time. I will be on the side, and then test tube, you will take it from here. Well, thank you for joining me in here. I guess it's time, it's game time. Let's give it a go. Right now the series is 2-1. It's Colorado in the lead right now. They're looking for another one if they wanted to break it going in from between attacks. Well, let's uh, let's give it all we got. There might be some choices that we can go for. We're back here at the American Airlines Center. This is about the Dallas and the Stars ready to bring things on to the fight. It's going to be a really wild, crazy going on right now. Hopefully the Stars can try to wick their thing around here to tie this game up. And for alongside with me and Son of Beast, the truck is dropped and we are underway here back at Dallas. So the story lines us currently as followed here as Bobrovsky. Then it's then it's Robertson. Then it's Tyler Segan. Then Andrew McKinnon. Then it's McCaw. Joel Pavelski. And across the other side we have his Rantan. Then we have the a, a, a only player that does know his better timing can only be one place at the same time, Toast. Toast might be the only way that can play from the, uh, from the other angle here. Sometimes, for himself, he now needs to know what his secret is all about. As his start is throwing in for the poke trap, and a save me has come up by. Now it's Ranton right in the offensive end. Moves it over to McCarr. Robertson takes the puck away. Reaches in, in the offensive end now. Puck gets tipped. Moves again. Here again. Sagan couldn't be able to save it. The puck clears down the ice. Colorado saves it without the icing being called. Garado shot blocked. Sagan has his puck control here. Now goes to the other lane. Suter up. Moves inside, Sagan scores! Hey, it's first goal of a season in game four! What we call now, Tyler Segan with the only great backhand releasement. Not only could be the shock and all, but it may not be enough for him to try to give him all that he wants to give him pressure's eyes to keep the targets right down in the lane. Now he knows his way that Tyler Segan has got a great chance to make an open quick pay to make him make him pay. Dallas Stars have a lead right now. It's 1-0 here in Game 4 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Now the shot ripped around and it's up on, on Oshie. Gerard goes right over to Landeskog. Moves over to Nikuski. Kadri in straight, and the save is tipped up wide off the cold on the pad. This pad is not going to be able to make it work for a pay from it. They now need something else to go right from the attackers. Colorado back into the defensive end to the neutral zone. Now they will push into offensive zone. Kadri all around the board. Oh, and what a bad pass outside by Johnson. Now they play it back inside. 2-1. 
Oh my goodness, almost had it. O'Connor would have had safe here and would have come to make the goal. Yeah, it was very tough that he was going to try to make a goal, but this wasn't going to be the only one that he was going to try to play here on offense. It was too quick. Not enough timing. They got to go right instead to give it another, give it another plan, action on their side. Comper, this is off to Murray. He steps outside a blue line as they will have to try to reinforce their group. Johnson works it up through in the middle. From the wing, the man on attackers. And Raphael goes in from the offensive end. Johnson will try to save it. He goes inside. Rudolph saved by Kemper. Kemper only, only made that one save here in game one and two. This only time now is can be only a big changeoff score. Now they have something else to do to go work their way around. Makar up the toes. Toes moves in the middle and Fosca. Fosca gets a uh, steal. Now no penalty going on here for Colorado for a slash of trip. Colorado back in the offensive end. Gets knocked out, wants to get physical. Fosca. And moves it back in here. Gets whipped around. No penalty going on for Dallas. Where you know because because of Dallas really has the has got the great strength out there. Well, because they they are they are aggressive. They are totally aggressive and they got something else to do to go right from the puck. They're not gonna go easy on them. They're gonna go right hard to make them drive and pay for them what they've done to go aggressive. Abacule, backhand shot saved off the goaltender. Now Robertson will be heading into the neutral zone. New group changes. Klingberg into the offensive end. And it picks up a save here by uh, Kjumper. Maritain controls the puck. Take feed, Borowski, Odinger has his first save here for the night. Oh. Otinger has a, has a lot of his moment out there. Now his talent can be the only way to make him save the day. But in the top three lineups, he could be okay. Colorado wins it. Saved by Otinger. Confirm. Couldn't be able to connect the pass. Robertson in the uh, offensive boards. Gets whipped around. And it's Newhook with a, with a takeaway. Robertson, saved by Kemper. Now he will dish it along to Kemper. Kemper right in the offensive tap. O'Connor in the board. They move the puck quickly over. Gerard gets knocked down. This knocking down will never try to make the deal. And this only makes a saving out with the range. The puck goes outside and we have a whistle. We're under a midway point here as it scores now 1-0 here in the first period. Dallas wins, gets blocked as the good skin has really gotten a block and trying to make the man down. Man down only knows his way through. Oh, he scores! Nechuskin has his 11th goals in this season and has his first goal in the playoffs. He was all alone. All we had to do is try to go for the shot. And in this time, the go-ahead shot was success. They are now even up here as it's 1-1 in the game in the first period. This all turned out to be Nateskin that has played here for most careers this season after the NHL season was been, was been successful for him, for him tonight. And now, his career could be a high average point. Yeah, the average can be very, 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 uh, indeed, skill challenge out there. Now they have something else to do to go right from the, right from the hinge to make, it, to make them go ahead through long and possible. But it could be the only way to get right around it, so because the other player on a higher average may have the, may have the overall to go for it. Shot in the eye by Oinger. Oinger has another save, mate. Moves it quick in the next question. Johnson moves over to Murray. 
Murray from the slot. Stop by the Yasuda. Yes, big hit. Granov, right to Ben. Trying to go for another poke check, and Kilper will stop the puck and makes a save. Rides again, now the boards, and the offensive end goes with 2 1. He scores! It's Kadri! With the goal and the assist. Comes up by Rantanen and toes. What a great hustle. That was the only tape to tape skills that Rantanen has have gotten first assist here in game four. Now he knows his way. He's got he's got a great eye look opener. And now it's Kadri with the goal. As Colorado Avalanche takes a 2-1 lead over Dallas. They still have more time before they get back into the game. Now there might be some another way to get right by it. Havelski, Kilgore save. Puck clears out. And we have a whistle here as this one goes for icing on Colorado. And we all looking for McCann, ankle breaker, and Mavelski with a big stepper. There is a tipper off that could be the only way to get right around it. And with sometimes that Rantanen has already got um, a better solution out there. His ankle breaking could be uh, just like an ankle step break here from the, from the blade. And he wants to do is, he wants to get right around it and then try to make him off with a, with a slap shot of the goal. Some other players really wanted to do the ankle breaker. Well, all the players decided not to go for it. They don't want to get ripped around. Hands inside, Glendell out in the wing. Havelski in the middle. And Kilmer save, and we got a power play coming up for Dallas. The penalty occurs on Colorado on interference. The interference is going to be a very toughest to make a play out there. That's because of toes, you can't interfere anybody. Right now, the power play will be the first question here for tonight in Game 4 of Dallas Stars. Klingberg up, and up the seat, and save by Kumper. Puck clears out for, da for Colorado. Trying to make a whip at them. Now they will regroup for Dallas. Rodolph's got it back here for the puck, going back in the offensive end. This is off to Klingberg. Curl up, saved by Kemper. Kemper really knows this way through. He got a good handle of it. Klingberg with the puck. He gets it off to Ben. Ben inside, in the middle. Pushes up, it's Kemper stopping the goaltender with the save. Saved by Kemper. He's doing it again because that's what the players are looking for. They are just putting out another great save bait on the, on the ring. O'Connor trying to clear the puck. Rodolph up in the carry. 15 seconds for the power play. Ben! Shot denied by Kemper. Kemper really got a good one. And the time winding down. The power play for Dallas is over as it will be full strength here. Over two teams. Puck clears out. And we got an icing going on Colorado. Just almost finished right here for the first period as it's now 2-1 here for Colorado. Stars wins its face off and resumes the play. Bang! And a little poke check here. Toes all alone. Here we go. Sorry by Odinger. Odinger really got a hit and all of it. He got a great timing. He showed up. Now and now back to Suter. Sutter to Segan. Segan with the with a rolling spin move. Sutter up. Stop by Kemper off the bow pad. Now we put play for a last minute left here in the first period. It's 2-1 now. Bang in the corner of the wall. Garanov, save again. Two in a row. Ben, block the pass with a shot. Garanov, Haskin takes his shot and goes down as another save is Kimba. The save, and this one goes to icing on Colorado. 
They really want to go for the attack, but the but the bad guys really need to like try to wish them out. They better not try to like keep it pushing, or else they're gonna lose their breath, and they have to uh, try to like not do it again. And saved by Kilper. Just about 7.8 seconds. It's 2-1. They are still working their way on the board. They have a lot of momentum to get right by it. Stars wins the face-off. Haskinen goes wide. And this will do for the first period of the game. 2-1 is the score. Colorado in front with a breakaway chance. 2-1-1. And we'll get a and we'll get a whistle here when we come back after this. Second period is coming up after this. And the fans and the ice is already cleared out. We're about to start off the second period. And the play drops and we are about to start. Pavelski hasn't really gotten in, in trouble here with the scoring. Oh, he just put it in! Robertson got it! And McCarr would have able to help him. Right now, it's only him for him tonight. They tied it up. Wow, what a start. Robertson really has gotten a much uh, better appreciation. And McCarr would have helped out Kilper anyway and try to help him out. But it looks like the shot got him in, in the way. Now the Stars are putting it back on pressure. Perukovsky back in the offensive end. Whips away around. Moves over, and a bad pass. That's Pavelski with a turnover. Almost picked away here. Robertson saves it. McCard trying to able to hold on. McCard still gets its time to try to work his way around. Around the net. That's off to Borowski. Borowski shot goes off by Ottinger. McCard up to Randonen. And gets whipped out. Toes outside here, right next to the wall. Goes right to Makar. He shoots! Save it up! Oh, what a save by Odinger! He is just going for another bigger timing in the game. It's more than he has. Odinger really has got a, a way, way target out there. That's a help here on offense. This was going to be able to help him on defense to give him another try. Save off on Kemper. Pavelski with the save, and he scores! The one-time shot goes in for Hinks. He takes the lead. Excellent move here for Hinks. That was a one-time shot here that goes up with a one-time goal. Now they have it up front. Well, thanks to Pavelski, they now lead 3-2. This one goes right from the uh, better timing than they had here. Now for Colorado, because this was a tough breakout run. Gets out of the way, Gerard will have to clear the puck away. Gerard still looking for a man opener. And a poke check. He has to hustle down to get right in. Yeah, he really wants his revenge because that's all you have to do. Now they're giving him a hard time to try to stop him. And inside. Kilper stopping the puck here as Corrad will help him out. Kadre up inside, right, right from the board. Slams it across. Kadre up. Johnson. One time. Murray saved by Ottinger. Fosca controls the puck. O'Connor's got the puck in the own offensive end now to take the attack. Avalanche looking for a chance to take the tie again. Johnson fires across. That goes off of Ottinger. Johnson tries again. This time he wraps it back to Murray. On the slot. Saved by Ottinger. Johnson back to Murray. Moves back to Johnson. Moves back to Murray. And an offside is called. The offside was going to be uh, a little bit of a tough out and the angle out there. They can't be leaving it all alone. They need to find something else to go back from here. Avalanche wins it. 13.47 to go here for the second period. 
And only one score gives up here for Dallas. But the Avalanche really needs something else to go right by, by a hand. They do always. They really have something else to give right by it. They can't be losing their puck. They gotta go something big out there to give it another try. Shot blocked by Murray. Puck clears out. And this one comes along. Cole, a body check, slammed him across. Oh man, Strom gets to save it. We had a man, he now knows his way. I'll find him in there, take him down. Shot blocked. Makar still has a puck control. And Toes will have to let them go back again before being cleared out. Now Toes is in the offensive end. Makar up again, Strom. Strom in the breakaway. And goes up to the netting after a save by Ottinger. And the whistle is stopped. All we need to know is that those two, only Kimper and Ottinger, they, those two really are being so heavy right now in each, in each competition. No thing has really have gone into the, in the way, but they really have a lot more to get right by it. The Stars regain position here back in the offensive in zones. McKinnon gives it across to Mantinen. McKinnon has it up. Bobrovsky's back to toes. Toes inside, backhand shot, off on Ottinger. Hintz writes him up. McCarr up, the pass is blocked. And he whips him across. This is going to give him a hard time out there, and no penalty still called on Colorado. Yeah, well, it's not really what they really have done so far. Excuse me, I just hold on a and we got an interruption here. The goal is on it. It's 4 2. Stars are on fire right now in game four. And now they're looking for a chance to tie the series up if they wanted to get back in the game. Like I just said here before, lots of goalies can be definitely be changing up here at the same time. But there might be some another solution here that we wanted to give up a play. All the players have a hard time looking for an open man, odd man rush. This is going to be very time hard off in between the runs. Now they need to get there in time to try to stop them. Add cool. Elm right over to Garad. Johnson is in from outside. Range is tip. Suda has it. Hits. Right over to Pavelski. Hintz has his second goal of the season in a playoff spot. Oh, Kilpour! And Johnson who has it saved. This one really gives him a tough bite. What a great save by Kilpour. Colorado finds Gerard. Inside! Blocked away! Heavy traffic out there. Gonna be a very tight call. And it's breakaway chance! Saved by Ottinger! Still no score yet for Colorado. It's a great D because everyone is moving around. They got a great suggestion out there to give it a go. Havelski saves the puck. Goes right to Stegen. And he will have to click the pier and click the puck up. And now he will dish it up to Comper. They won't pick up that play. Stegen in control of the puck. Finds Gurnoff. Jurnov in the offensive end. The Avs take the puck. Cadre in from the offensive end. Gets a little bit physical. Little free count in between the uh, you know comprehensive out there. In between the aggressive moves. Two are up. Oranger save. Oranger really, really likes to go go with uh, with uh, another time in the release. What a save me by uh, by Ottinger. O'Connor can't save the puck. Right off in there. Score! Burn! It's 12 goals in the games of the playoffs. The Stars freaking position out there. They are now 5 2. They are killing it. They really wanted to keep the pressure alive and wanted to try to stop their pressure here from NB Gaming to get right by it. Ranton, up inside, Lendo. 
gives it off to Fasksa. And this one gets turned away. Horowski sells the puck down, and now he goes back with the offending in. Ellinger save! And he will have to close the puck here with only under five minutes left. Still more time left here, as Avalanche hasn't had a goal yet here since the first period. As win, backhand shot gets really whacked up. Toes right down the car. Shoots inside, shot blocked. Back to Burokovsky. Up to Rantanen. Up to McKinnon. And save by Oninger. Fasca has their own on the other hand. He dishes off to Raffel. Raffel in there. Ranton save. Back to McKinnon. Back in the offensive end. Switches up. Inside. Shoots. Tries again. Saved by Ottinger. Ottinger really keeps it alive out there. The whistle is thrown down and we will have to take a clear energy regain control in between. Still more pressure here. The Stars regain here with a three-point lead. Puck resumes as Johnson holds the puck with, with Gerard. Gerard up to Helm. Back to Johnson. Moves over to Strum. Moves the puck in quickly from Gerard. Inside now gets knocked down. Stars going back in the offensive end. And it's a breakaway chance. Here we go. Erlinger can't able to connect here for the goal. He is not he is now losing it. He's on fire going from street. He's looking for a game four winner. Knocked down in between. Comfort. Backhand. Silly by Ottinger. Havelski has his puck in control. Now he just have the hands. It's good save by Kjumper. Strum dishes up. Back in the neutral zone. Just off the board of O'Connor. Back to Strum. And it won't connect with the pass. Kumpfer has his own control of the puck. Back in the offensive end. Moves over to O'Connor. And that gets suited out. Last minute of play here in the second period. It's 5-2 game. Robertson. Gets whipped out. Johnson holds the puck here in control. They have some numbers here. And gets beaten down. Cooper. Lindels with this takeaway. Segan inside. And it goes up the back. You can call that one here, but Ben was able to make them slow them down. They have some rushing man out there. They're looking for a chance to tie the series. Wow, beating up in traffic. And I hold up. Big hit. And the second period is closed. 6-2 is a score. They have four goals, three goals here in the third period. Third period is coming up. Sorry about that one. It's supposed to be second period, but that's all that happens. We'll be right back after this. And the third period is about to start. Test Tube and Son of Beast here. Glad you could join us here as we're about to start the last period left here. Three goals here in the third period. When two goals happen here in between the tricks. This is a lot of best plays out there. Everybody loves him so far. McCannon saved by Ottinger. What a safe start here in the third period. They know about third period because all that happens was it was a tough save. Minato's is work way to make him shot, but it's a quick time reaction. That's for him for sure. And the attack. He goes in. He scores. They're back in the game. You call for the breakaway with a chain. That was on our Rantanen that wants to put him back here. 
with the stop and no schools given out here for the second period, but now this time, they have it here in the third period. Colorado Avalanches are trailing by three. It's now 6-3 game here in the game four. Now this gets off to about, about the board around. Sutter will have the puck over to Hintz. Two goals here for this game in the playoff spot. Try to look it away around, McKen. Mackinac, unable to connect. Icing is the call in Colorado. You can call this one that McKinnon has, has gotten some uh, great pressures out here so far. Now they have something else to go right from it instead. Because of what uh, McKinnon and, and, and the other team can do, they have more to give him a handle. Take the tape beat, and this one goes right off wide. Landskog will have to try to like reset it here on offense. Now he goes back inside, back in, up here, passing the neutral zone. Chop block and heavy traffic, that's not going to help him. It was too much congestion out there for the Stars to pick up their way. Offside calls here for Colorado. There are a lot of passing effectiveness and here as only 80% goes up here. They're looking for a chance to get 90% down. And they really do because all the other players on defense, they have a lot of uh, more more effortless to try to like stop them. Now they need something else to go right by. Moves it quickly over to Johnson. Now he moves over to uh, Nikushkin. Pass blocked here, and Jurinov steals it. Ben controlling the puck. Pass up off the board to Seagan. Kadri up here as the Avs regain their group. Puck gets cleared out. And it's Rose and Icing here on Colorado. There's too many Icings going on. They need to switch the pants here to try to, to try to slow them down. Dallas wins it. Saved by Kelper as this one goes up with another gloves and pad save. Colorado back in the offensive end. Takes a shot. It gets going and out of nowhere. Swings it across. Johnson pulls back the Codrick. Colorado back in the offensive end. Driving along the boards. Kadri moves over to Gerard. Murray sends it up across. Back to Gerard. Gerard in control puck. And it gets blocked traffic. That's not going to help him. And in the, in the corner wall. Oh, he went down. Kilper has it saved here with the glove save. Rafael scores! It's a 7-3 game! And a Colorado losing streak gives them up here in a tough round. All he knows himself, because all players get frustrated out there, that's because they are not picking their pace up here and they're not looking for their defense to try to cover them up. So they got some uh, another chance here to try to stop them by. New look has a puck control. Inside now, Sutter gets a puck. Rafael up in control. This is off the rattle. Saved by Kemper. Kemper's getting well at this point because now he knows as well. Saving percentage could be a little, little decrease, but he might be, uh, but he might regain himself to give it another try. Ottinger save. O'Connor reaches up here for the rebound. And our paint to take feed is not able to pick it up. Hence, moves up across to Pavelski. Pavelski up. Outside call on Dallas. Stay tuned for the next game as we will have the, the next one back in the Eastern Conference. This one will be the Rangers and the Penguins here at the at Pittsburgh. For another game, as Rangers have a 3 nothing lead here in a series. Maybe the next one could be a shot at victory here. Yeah, I was thinking of it too, because I know that Rangers are definitely playing very hard. 
and as a start here of, of um, last year, I'm sorry, for 2022, it looks like that Penguins really got a great win. But now, the Rangers have it all in control. They got a great step-by-step -step here and try to work their way around to give it another try. Now, it's the time for Rangers to try to work their way up and for Penguins win or go home. Mackinnon in the puck, right along the boards. McCarr upside, saved by Ottinger. Towns reaches up to McCarr. McCarr shoots, and it's off on a pad by Ottinger. McCarr reaches in, save again. They try again, keeps it alive. McCarr scores! That is a CI of nine goals of the playoff game. He got a heavy traffic out there for Kale McCarr. Now that was a seeing eye, and Tape the Tape has gotten two assists here for Rantanen. And now what he has done? Well, that's a hard pressure that he has all been here before. Colorado trying to regain in control, back down, trailing by three. Oh man, this is like the only uh, toughest game here that nobody has ever seen. I mean, most of all because what I see that most players have gotten some great average skills here. This is a tough one in between a 1 and 3 zone. 1 and 4. I mean, this is a very uh, toughest game here in the night. I agree. All the games can be definitely tough here, true. Hints inside. And saved by Kemper. Puck almost went poked. That was going to be another one to get right by it. Puck clears out. And he beats icing, and his no call has been regained here to try to avoid it. Yeah, that's a great avoiding. That's another way to get right by it. Hinge steals it. Robertson gets around the puck there. Showing off, back in the offensive end. Cadre moves up to the Landis dog. Back in the blue line. Another one goes right around, around the wall. Gerard, lands the star. Gerard, shot, and it goes tipped off wide. That was a little tough on a uh, backhand shot. I mean, most players can definitely do some backhand shots. Very tough, but it can be very hard for them to work their way through. Landis star, shoots, and gets heavy in traffic. Kadri up to Lundell, up to Ben. Ben passing the neutral zone. Face off here, saved by Kilmer. Helm uses across. The pad gets caught up behind. And we have a whistle here and offside of the icing as they will have to try to regroup and, and take their time with energy. So far, only five shots here for the goal. Gives up a, a number one to give a start out for the Colorado Avalanche. But this was a very tough one to get right by it. Now for our stars, this all turns out to be a workout through comeback save. Ben! Back pass to Sutter. Turn off. Inside! Skate by Kilper! Oh my goodness! He's working their way in time! Cadre passing the neutral zone. Takes a shot. That blows with a block. Sars back in the neutral, back in the offensive end. Sing it up, turn up, scores! That's two in a row! It's an 8 4 lead, back up by four. They're not going anywhere here tonight. They want to keep the pressure alive. That's for Stars Command. It's 8 4 game. They're looking for a chance that's tied this game up to give it another save off whirl. Strong, unable to connect the pass. Strong saves it. Murray, up to Johnson. Takes a shot, saving rebound, no luck of a chance. This was a very tough out play there. Now they know they were gonna get there behind. Murray gets off to Johnson. Gets pushed out! Wow! That 
was a moving wall brick behind. I know that one because of all the defenders out there. They wanted to sweep them. O'Connor right behind the net. He shoots, save, glove by Ottinger. Okay, well, hold the puck here with only 4-9 to go. And the Stars are looking for a chance to take the tie. Pavelski, big tipper, and McCann with the ankle breaker. Still nothing to say, say about Ottinger, but this is all that turned out that he is the only man defender here that wants to go for another run. Other goalies can be very hard there too. They have a lot of skills that they need to, to work on. With the pad save, the glove save, sometimes the tricky ones, the back and around the uh, offenders, McKinnon can be a very tough one here. Ottinger, glove save, another one goes in for, for the goalie to catch a bye. Three, 20 left to go here for the third period. Dallas wins in the, in the defensive in the defensive end. The zone now goes off back in the neutral zone. Now they're in offense. Robertson gets hit by McCarr. 250 left to play here for the third period. McKinnon inside. Moves in. Ankle breaking is turned out to be a failure. Yeah, that was very tough. I don't see any ankle breakers going on. Only NBA that did turn out to be him. Robertson, Burakovsky, and this one rejects it. Toes puts the body check. McKinnon with the steal. Try to work his way through. McKinnon up inside the backhand. Oh, he scores! My goodness, McKinnon just really would well like to take it back from here. I have no idea what is this. The wheels always keeps up on McKinnon. And check this out. Wheel deal. Booming around across here. That was all that happened for McKinnon. Now he has his average down by three. Dallas still leads up here. Only 135 left to play here in the third period. Suter up. Segan inside. Copper. He gets whipped around here for the body check. And he goes knocked down. Comper. Back to O'Connor. Try to hold the puck again. Takes a shot. Denying traffic. And a save by Ottinger. Under a minute left to play in the third period. Puck clears down. As right now, Colorado will take the advantage. The clock is winding down as Newhook takes it. Now he moves up to Johnson. Oh, a big hit! Now it's a new skin. Only 30 seconds left here to play here in the third period. Kilper! Oh my goodness! He is putting another one safe here, but other periods give him a hard time. Yeah, it is true because all of a sudden now, that Kilper really doesn't really go very well. He now knows his way. He got him whipped out. And the penalty call is going to be a holding smash here on Gabriel Laniscog. The power play will be on the stars, but the time is running out. That is for boarding. This is all for Joe Pavelski. This is only for him, and there might be another change up here, and they could be excited to take the time. Johnson clears the puck, and under 10 seconds left to play, they will not have it in time. No chance here for Colorado, and that ends the game. 8-5. The final horn is sound, and the Stars take the tie series of the game. This was very tough speed work through. They all congratulate the Ottinger. They all have their pressure in the handle. They all pretty excited to come back to Colorado and face it again. And that should do it here for the game. With all that being said here, the test tube is all finished here for this commentator. Next game is Rangers and Penguins here at Pittsburgh. We'll see you on the other side, but I will be flipping it off to Son of Beast to give it up to commentate this round performance. 
so that was a very tough one. I definitely enjoyed it so far. Very tough speed and endurance here after game three was finished, but that is all that happened. So, that for being said, three star players of the game is up and underway right now. And here they are. Let's see what the status is of. Let's take it from you, Son of Beast. First star goes out to Rope Hints. Two goals and two hits. He's now on the board. He has never been in for the three star players of the game, but that's his first time getting a goal in game four. Number two is Jamie Benn. Two goals and two hits. That only turns two. And that's what all happens. Shuffle board, and it goes right up to a heavy grouping match. And for number one, this all turns to be Tyler Segan. One goal, three assists, and two hits. He turned out to be terrific star of this game. That was all for him. And that's it do of here for the game here, folks. Thank you all for watching of the Western Conference of Colorado Avalanche and Stars of Dallas. As you all have your next Western Conference here coming up later tonight. That will be Oilers and Kings at Rogers Place. Thank you for joining us and see you all next time for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs of NHL 22 dial. Thank you and have a good night. We'll see you on the other side here of the Eastern Conference of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Test tube is out. See you next time. Somebody